What's up ladies and gents, this is Idaho Dub with an NCAA gameplay. I am playing an online match against a, just a random opponent. I put up a poll on the Idaho Dub Facebook page. You can check out the link below. I put up a poll asking you to vote on where you think Idaho Dub the third should go in his Road to Glory season for NCAA 14. A lot of you have been commenting Baylor, Oregon State, Texas A&M, a bunch of schools. Miami's a big, big option, so I thought I'd play as Baylor. So I'm Baylor. The random dude's playing as Florida. I wanted to see if Dub ID3 is going to go to Baylor. He's got to see what he's working with. But I also want to talk about NCAA 14. The little bit of information I read on it, I haven't done a lot of research. The demo comes out tomorrow, or I guess tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. Pacific time for the Xbox, and I believe it comes out a little later in the day for the PlayStation. So if you guys want to check that out, obviously go check that out. Some things that I've heard about, I'm going to basically talk about what I've heard of NCAA 14, a few things that I, that I think is going to be cool, and then kind of my wish list. Now my wish list is going to be a little bit biased because obviously I, only, I pretty much only play Road to Glory. I play some online matches, mainly against you guys when I'm doing the bowl projections, and I usually get like a, a season in of Dynasty, but I don't play NCAA a lot outside of Road to Glory. I'm pretty much focused on Road to Glory. And I'm biased. The reason I say I'm biased is one, that's pretty much the only game mode I play. And two, I'm buying the game no matter what. Okay? It's like it's like a crackhead. They're gonna buy crack no matter what, right? Because they're addicted to crack. I'm like the crackhead. Plus, NCAA football is like the main game on my channel. So I'm buying the game no matter what. But there are some things that I like to change. So first let's talk about kind of the the big news coming out for NCAA fourteen and they're introducing introducing the, inf the Infinity Engine. So basically they're saying with this new engine that there's the Phantom Tackles are going to be gone, the Hand Blocks are going to be gone, and it's going to be, you know, they're going to try to introduce the real physics of the game, just like Madden did last season. But I had some issues with Madden last season, but I guess we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I don't know if that means, I, like I said, I haven't read, I've read very little about this game. So I don't know if that means that they're going to, you know, if they're going to get rid of the boost, because Madden had the boost, and I'm, this game still has the boost, right? Now I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I'm excited to see if it's if it's going to change some of that stuff. The Phantom Tackles, the freaking closing speed on the D-backs is somewhat ridiculous. Um, you know, the only reason I throw interceptions in this game is because of, because of the old engine. I never make any mistakes on my half, so, you know, I definitely hope they change that. <laughs> So that's kind of the big thing that's coming out. They released um, they released the rosters. I put the link down below if you want to see all of the the team ratings for NCAA 14. Alabama's a 99 overall. So they have the full that on that forum you can check out all of the schools where your school ranks at. You can also check out um, players I believe somewhere on that forum. I saw a bunch of players list. Basically that all the news articles I saw they were talking about how high Alabama's ranked. There's also a video that came out. And somebody posted on the Idaho Dove Facebook page today. I didn't watch it, but it shows every uniform option in the game for 2014. And it shows how ridiculous NCAA is, or college football is getting with their uniforms. And it's not ridiculous like the uniforms are looking crazy. It's ridiculous how the University of Oregon has changed the uniform landscape. Because there are so many options for every team now. This video... Okay, the, the person goes through all the options in the game in this video, and the video takes 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Oh, interception. Nice. Nice pick, Dub. So 35 minutes to go through all of the uniform options. That is insane. And that's just a testament to how crazy uniform options are getting. And really, you can blame that on Oregon because Oregon's really the the team that did it, you know, the team that brought in all of the different uniform options. Cause they have like what some last time I checked, there was like 700 and some odd different uniform combos. It's crazy. It's insane. It's nuts. Do you like that? I mean, I think it's, I mean, I think that's kind of what made Oregon unique, but, and I, and I think it's cool if your favorite school has a bunch of different uniform options, but I think sometimes Oregon goes a little over the top. And by sometimes I mean all the time it gets a little nuts, especially when schools start mixing in, colors that aren't actually their school colors so yeah that's what i think about the options all the different options i don't know let me know you know sound off in the comments what you guys think about the uniform options well, let's dive into my wish list i'll i'll reiterate this i'm a little bit biased because i pretty much only play road to glory so that's what i'm going to talk about in road to glory 
one of the things that bugs me the most, and I, a lot of people comment on this, and I've never been able to figure it out, and I'm pretty sure you cannot do it because I've done a lot of research on it. But when you download a roster, you know, like right now, I still have the players' numbers. For some reason, I have like the biggest issue keeping my roster loaded on NCAA. I don't know what it is. I like download the roster and it works on a game or two, but then it'll just go back to the you know defensive tackle number 75 or whatever. It'll just go back to numbers after a little bit, and it's super frustrating. I don't know why that is. So I I don't I don't. It seems to only happen to me. Other people are like, oh, I always have the roster, but. Every time I want to use the roster, I have to go in there and download it and make sure that it's applied to the, to the rosters for some reason. It doesn't stick on there. When it does stick, what sucks is when you create a road to glory, those rosters don't transfer over. So it's just the numbers. And people have people always ask in the comments, like, why don't you have the real names of players? Because it, it never has been able to transfer over for me to road to glory. And... A lot of people agree with me, and some people are like, "No, I, I can totally do it." I've never heard, I've never seen anybody sh on their road to glory have the actual players, the names of the players. Are you kidding me, Dub? Fumbling it with four seconds left in the first half, gonna let him score like that? Man, down three at half. All right. So, I hope they fix that. I hope you can transfer the rosters over to Road to Glory, because it'd be nice to call the player cuz i always call the players by their real names in the first two seasons when they're actually the real players before they start bringing in the the computer recruits and so it'd be nice to you know call them by their real names and actually have their real names on the screen rather than an auto generated roster which i've had the last two seasons i don't know if they're going to do that cuz you know ea has that whole that whole lawsuit thing with players names so i don't know if they're going to ever allow anybody to do that we'll see that would be something that's on my wish list another thing that's on my wish list and I know Road to Glory is supposed to be as I as I try to fake punt it. Oh, you gotta catch that! Only reason I did that, I don't usually do that kind of crap, but this guy went for it on fourth and one, and I know it was only fourth and one, but it was like on the 35 yard line for him or 40 yard line on his own side of the field, and I'm not a fan of that. You shouldn't be doing that BS. So once somebody does that, it's all out. I, I'm going for it on fourth downs, all that. But the next thing on the wish list would be a little more customization as far as the playbook and audibles. You don't. You don't. You can't customize a lot. You can switch playbooks from schools, and you can probably create your own play, your own playbook, outside of Road to Glory, and maybe import it. But I just want to be able to go through, skim through all of the playbook when I have the finally have the chance to choose my own plays. I don't like the fact that I only get three options to change. I, I think that sucks, and I wish I could do that. I wish I could change up the audibles a little bit more, and it just it'd be a little. It'd be nice to have full control of the playbook maybe maybe i understand there are you know college players maybe not they don't have the option to audible in any play they want but maybe that should be like an unlock after like your third season or when you get so many points you get the option because it would be so much nicer to be able to you know go through the whole playbook especially for me i like to run the option and stuff sometimes i'm not not all the time but it would be nice to be able to you know pick any play that i want out of the playbook so i think they should allow players to do that and they could just make it something like you know after you get so many points you unlock full access to the playbook, like the coach, you know, your coach trust points. That's something I would like to see. Another thing I'd like to see is a challenge. I know that we're not the coaches in Road to Glory, but please, sometimes the plays are ridiculous, and I want to be able to challenge it. I want to be able to challenge a play. Nice touchdown, Dub, making a comeback. So I think you should be allowed to challenge it. I definitely think you should, because players have, uh, you know, the the ability to persuade coaches into throwing, you know, calling a challenge or throwing the challenge flag. So I think that you should be able to do that. Another thing I'd like to see is, basically, I'd like to see a lot more of what's in the dynasty mode in Road to Glory. Except in Road to Glory, you just have the one position, and that the custom schedules would be cool. I know they're probably never gonna let you do that because you're going to the school, so that hasn't, you know, the players have no say in that. But it'd be kind of nice to be able to do that. I doubt it's gonna happen in Road to Glory. But one thing they should do in the game, and the, maybe the Infinity Engine will do this, is as your team gets better, because usually when people play in the Road to Glory, you know, they take their team to a higher rank, all of that. You know, you're trying to get to the national championship. You basically build the program up because of this one player. They should give you better recruits. You guys have seen it if you've watched my Road to Glories. I get crappy players every year recruited. It's, never, it's, like, I, it's like whatever roster I start with, that's like the best my roster is going to be. I'm never going to get great running backs or receivers after that. And I think they should change the recruiting. If, if your player is killing it, you're taking your school to bowl games, 
the cus or the uh, AI for the recruiting, the the AI coaches, the computer coaches should be doing a better job in recruiting. They should give you better recruits. That's frustrating for me, especially after you're in your senior year and you've got receivers who are like overall like low 80s. You know, speeds like an 84. Like, you know, you know if your team's going to a bowl game every year and you've lost like how many games have I lost? Like four games over my span, maybe five games. You know that the players are going to want to come play there. Last thing is you, if you want people to play Madden like me, you need to bring back the export roster to Madden. That's got to come back if you want people like me to play Madden. So bring that back, EA. And that's my wish list. That's what I want. What do you guys want to see? Sound off in the comments down below. We got a minute eight left, and I need to focus on this game. We're down three. Dub. The, oh, and no. Dub. Dub. Fumble. Are you kidding me? Woo. That is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, man. Dub throws a pick, fumble, got it back. Oh, the EA gods. The EA gods are on my side today. All right, second and five. 24 seconds left. Handoff. Oh, yeah, we're in field goal range. We're good, but I want a touchdown, man. I want it all. All right, seven. Oh, sack. Call a timeout. All right. You know what? We won't call a timeout. Hey, let's do call a timeout. Sorry, I didn't remember what I did there. Ten seconds left. Dub, going for it. Fourth and five. Touchdown! Touchdown! There was a sequence of events for that. I got, the guy froze me when I brought on the field goal unit, so I was like, screw it. I'm just going to go for it because he's been going for it on fourth down. That's why I fake punted it. We're just not playing real football right now, man. This is a, it's a grudge match. Seven seconds left. Prevent. Prevent. Do not stand for me. Do not stand for me. And if you watch my NCAA Road to Glories, you know what I'm talking about when I say don't stand for me. Four seconds left in the game. Come on, Dub. You got this. Let's cross the middle. Oh, one second. Giving himself a little room to throw a Hail Mary up. Throws it deep. Interception. Game over. Whew. Got out of that one. Baylor's not a bad team, man. I think, I think ID3 would fit in well with their offense. But thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys hope to see in NCAA 14. Are you going to buy it? Do you want to play it? Do you even care? Leave a comment. Let me know. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.